Ah, it's another vlog, y'all. It is Tuesday morning, <laughs> fresh out of, well, I got up like 30 minutes ago, but got Genevieve ready for preschool. She's now at school, so I am starving, and I wanna show you a quick smoothie I make with like three ingredients. And it's delicious, you're welcome ahead of time. All right, so basically all it is is banana, which I have <laughs> a banana that my three-year-old took one singular bite out of. So that will all go in there, I'll get the rest of that. And then you put in a chocolate protein powder of some kind. This is one from Orgain. I tend to like a lot from this brand, but uh, it's a chocolate one, which is very important in this recipe. <laughs> I need to use this one up though first, so we'll use that up. I might need a scoop of this and a scoop of that. And then milk of your choice, I use almond milk. That's it, we're gonna blend it up and it is so freaking delicious. And you're getting a full banana, some almond milk, you're getting protein and stuff. So it's kind of a nice way to start the day and it's not nearly as involved as like, you know, green smoothies, <laughs> which I love too, but I don't always have the time for. obviously not like a smoothie like a I don't know I always struggle with what to call this because it's not like a frozen smoothie you could probably put ice in it and make it more but I, I don't mind it tasting more like chocolate milk like the consistency being like liquid so there we go yum shake that's the word I'm looking for protein shake <laughs> also I get so many questions about these cups I'm pretty sure these are on Amazon but you have to buy the lid separate but they're just perfect I mean obviously they're just like mason jars but they're a little thinner and taller so they're really good for smoothies and stuff like that. And shakes! <laughs> mm. Very good. Also, I didn't really measure anything. <laughs> All right, so on the docket today is I've got work to do. It's a work day for me, but I'm kind of splitting the day up because I also need to get just stuff done around the house. There's little bits that just have desperately needed cleaning up. Like, and they're things that aren't even gonna take me that long. You know what I mean? Like our oven, like the time, what's that? Not the oven the range, you know what I mean, is a mess. And it's gonna take me two minutes to clean up, but I just need to do it. I've cooked far too many meals on it with it being so dirty. Things like that, like little bits of laundry that still need to be folded. So I'm gonna try to tackle those as well. And then I also wanna try to film an Instagram reel or two because I promised myself <laughs> like two years ago to film more Instagram Reels slash TikToks, and then I, I never did. Again, those are enjoyable to do. They're not hard. They don't take a lot of time. I just need to do them when I have ideas, and I have two ideas for some Reels I wanna do today. So I'm gonna try to tackle those as well while I can. And yeah, so just lots of things to get done. The baby's room, the new baby's room, is still a mess. So I gotta tackle some of that. I've got a bit of a grocery haul to share. It's gonna be a lot all in one day. I don't know if this vlog, if I've decided if I'm just gonna do one day or if it's gonna be multiple days. Cause I've been doing a lot of like weekly vlogs. This might just be one or two days. So, well, you'll know, you'll know soon cause you're watching the video anyway. Okay, okay, I need to get ready. Oh, and I do like to let you guys know early on if a video is sponsored and this one is very kindly sponsored by Thrive Market. And we'll talk about that in just a little bit. You can see my Thrive Market box is right there. I just got it in the mail yesterday. We got some goodies. The saddest sight to see we had a storm the other day. Okay, first of all, these are fake plants, okay? <laughs> They're fake. <laughs> we tried real ones, they don't survive in a pot. We have real ones back there. This one <laughs> broke in the storm. So Tyler thinks he can fix it, but I'm like, oh my gosh, that's so sad. We had to buy fake plants to keep them alive and they can't even stay alive because of a storm. <laughs> I need you guys just to love me the way that I am, okay? <laughs> There's nothing I can do about it. <laughs> Ready for the day, obviously. So that is always a good feeling. And I am gonna make a to-do list in my planner because like I said, I'm kind of splitting the day into work and play. No, I'm kidding. Into work and like housework. You know what I mean? I know this about myself. I do better when I have it in a list form. And so then we can kind of check some things off as we go because I know, <laughs> I know when I watch like productive vlogs, I love watching people cross things off the list. I just, ooh, I like just live for it. So we're gonna do that.
I think this is pretty good for today. If I can get most of this done, I'm gonna be feeling really good. And the good news is, like I was saying earlier, a lot of these home things I need to get done are quick and easy. They're not gonna take me long, but they've been lingering and getting worse for days and I just need to nip it in the bud. Getting a little bit more laundry done. I typically do my laundry on the weekends, but there are always those random loads of like cleaning towels and kitchen towels and things that just need to get washed. Maybe not every week, but they you know pile up and every few weeks I need to get done. So then I've got some work things over here I have to get done today. If I don't film the declutter, that will be okay. I've got some time this week that I can film it later in the week. I'd put this on here on this day earlier because I knew it needed to get done soon, but definitely wanna get those done. I've got some emails to do, and of course I'm filming this vlog. That's work, but that's fun work. That's the fun part. <laughs> anyway, so we'll see what we get done, but hopefully I can get most of this. Did you see any squirrels out there? <laughs> Little update on Pinocchio. He's feeling much better. Are you feeling better, Pinocchio? So yes, a little bit. <laughs> so basically we found out he got some x-rays done at the vet. And if you saw my last vlog, which I can link, he was just having trouble walking. He was, it looked like it was his back left leg and they thought maybe it was something to do with his knee. Like he just pulled it weird, maybe even like tore a muscle or something. Well, they finally checked it out further with an x-ray and they're pretty sure he was just born with hip dysplasia. So every once in a while, it's just gonna flare up. And that makes so much more sense because a few years ago, this same thing happened and they were like, maybe this was like an emergency vet place. They were like, maybe it's this disc disease and maybe it's like, it was far worse than what, thank goodness, it actually is. But it makes sense that it's happened multiple times in his life. And we've been like, you know, what is going on? Like, <laughs> so the, basically the vet was like, I'm not worried about it. There's nothing you need to like do about it. Just, you know, Maybe don't throw toys downstairs where he's gonna run and run back up and like things that would just naturally maybe aggravate it. So when we're playing with him, like throwing toys more on a level playing field and you know, that kind of thing. So that is easy to do. And really we haven't thrown toys. Like when he was a puppy, we would throw toys down the stairs cause he was, had so much energy and he'd run down and he'd run back up. But we haven't done that in a few years ever since his first kind of weird injury that turned out to be this. Anyway, so he's doing better, which is great. Great news, he's kind of back to his old begging for food self, so that is that is good. All right, it is time to tackle the dirtiness. I'm trying to turn on the light here. The dirtiness that is our range here, countertops. I don't know why, but this kind of stuff always grosses me out. already been peeking through my order this as I mentioned earlier this portion of the video is very kindly sponsored by Thrive Market thank you so much for continuing to support my channel this order <laughs> I asked you guys on Instagram for your favorite products on Thrive Market because so many of you guys have joined the Thrive Market website ever since you've heard me talk about it which is so freaking cool and so I bought a bunch of your guys' favorites and I'm really hungry right now, so we're gonna try a bunch of them. But if you have never heard of Thrive Market, it is an online membership-based grocery store, marketplace. They literally sell everything you need. They have tons of snacks and groceries and food, but they also have baby and kid items, pet items, skincare, beauty, makeup, cleaning supplies, you name it, they probably sell it. And the reason we've loved it for so long is that you're given guaranteed savings. I'll pop on the screen how much I saved just in this order alone. The reality is that we try to buy cleaner, more organic stuff where we can. And to be able to save money off of like in a regular grocery store, how much it costs, this is so much cheaper. <laughs> it is so much cheaper, you guys. So let's dive into what I got this time around. Uh, this was probably the number one most recommended thing from so many of you guys. It is the Dang Rice Crisps, specifically in the Sriracha Spice flavor. It's 
is what they look like. They're, oh my gosh. I know, my husband loves sriracha, so he's gonna lose his mind. <laughs> oh. oh no. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, the beauty is I like the taste of sriracha, but I don't like too much because I'm not a big spice person. These are not crazy spicy at all. So if you're like turned off, no, no. The flavor, baby. <laughs> These might not even make it to when Tyler gets home. <laughs> Another huge recommendation from you guys were these Unreal dark chocolate coconut bars. We're gonna try one of these two. So first of all, the brand Unreal we love because it's usually a lot less sugar, but they're still really delicious chocolate candy-like things, you know what I mean? Because listen, I love chocolate. It is never, I'm never cutting it out of my diet. So any way I can still enjoy it and it not be as, you know, high in sugar, etc. why not? And I like coconut. I know coconut is kind of one of those things. If you like Samoas, you will like these. <laughs> so if you were curious, three grams of sugar per bar. Oh my gosh, that was really good. Okay, jazzed I bought two of these. I was like, I hope I like them and I do, so that's good. Another one, this was one I just wanted to buy. It's the Skinny Dipped cups. I'm not going to eat one of these right now because I've already just had some sugar, but probably we'll have one of these later though. <laughs> these look delicious. Any of the skinny dipped brand stuff, the Unreal brand stuff, I feel like you can't really go wrong because they sell a lot of different kinds and I've tried a lot of them and they're all really good. Always and forever in our order every few weeks, olive oil. We basically place an order twice a month. It used to be once a month and now we're way too dependent. So we, it's pr typically twice a month that we place an order because a lot of these snacks that we buy and we also buy like food items, cooking items, but a lot of them have just become such staples that when we run out, we're like, we got to place an order. So that's that. But I love it because orders over $49 ship for free. That for me is a really big sticking point because if I were having to pay for shipping every time, I don't think I would love it as much, but the fact that you get huge savings and free shipping is what seals the deal for me. And they are shipping from their zero waste warehouses with carbon neutral shipping. So then I feel a lot less guilty placing orders online, you know, more often. Anyway, this was another one a lot of you guys recommended and I we're trying this cause I don't understand what these are. So it says they're cauliflower bites, but it's Buffalo Ranch like one of my favorite like buffalo ranch sauce is one of my favorites they're literally pieces of cauliflower <laughs> oh my gosh whoa i mean that i've never had anything like this i didn't even know this was a thing you could do mm. the whole bag is 130 calories <laughs> that's awesome i mean it tastes like cauliflower so you have to like cauliflower but if you do the buffalo ranch on it and they're so Crunchy. Having a nine month pregnant woman eating snacks on camera is probably a bad idea. I could eat all of these, you guys. Back to some of your guys' recommendations. This was another one a lot of you guys recommended. It's the Mary's Gone Crackers. And you guys were very specific on getting the thin ones. So I guess there's like the, the real thin ones and then like the regular. We're gonna try these two. This <laughs> is the ultimate taste test. I'm just tasting everything. But are you a cracker and chip person? I am. Tyler, my husband is not so much. Like he'll eat chips or crackers from time to time, but I love savory snacks that are crunchy. Like it's an everyday thing for me. So I'm all in for this. So I got the garlic rosemary flavor. Mm, these are gluten free. This would be a perfect cracker because the flavor is not overpowering at all. So if you're going to use the cracker like with cheese or you're going to dip it in like spinach artichoke dip, what else do I love? Hummus. Uh, <laughs> okay. So these would work in that and the flavor is not going to be too overpowering, but it's really good. And I'm, Honestly, really surprised it's gluten-free because this does not taste like a lot of the gluten-free crackers I've had. Okay, I gotta like pick the pace up here, I know. Another thing I got are these dark chocolate pretzel with sea salt protein bars. I like protein bars from time to time. My husband really, really likes them. So I thought this would be just something different to have. We've tried a lot of bars. <laughs> we go through a lot of them. But uh, yeah, these looked pretty good. Really, I was sold with the dark chocolate pretzel and sea salt that both of us love. No surprise, we order these every single time. So I showed you that smoothie recipe recipe earlier in the vlog, but this is so much easier when we're just like leaving and I'm like, I need to put something good in my body. You know what I mean? These, man, they're the Noka superfood smoothies. They're little pouches like for a kid, but they're not for kids. I mean, I'm sure you could give it to a kid, but these are so good. This is the immunity boost one. It's got strawberry and banana and it's got tons of vitamins, 
protein. It's just got so much good in it. And then the immunity boost. Oh, these are both immunity boost. Well, that's probably a good thing. They also have ones that are like probiotic specific. So they have a lot of different kinds, but they're tasty as could be really, really good cold. If you, I, we just stick ours in the fridge. I eat one of these pretty much every day. I do. And I feel like it just keeps everything moving along and they taste really good. Like it's just, they're really, really good, you guys. And then another quick snack are these Mama Chia Chia Squeeze. If I were picking between the two, they're very different, but if I were picking between the two, I would pick the Noka any day, but they're very different. I treat this more as like, a, I was gonna say a meal. No, I'm still hungry after this. I don't know, like this is more of like a quick snack. This is like, I would have this and uh, something else and it would be like my breakfast. Does that make sense? Anyway, these are really good. They've got chia seeds in them though. So like there's that texture of it, which I like, but I know not everyone does. That's all this time. I am gonna be honest, right after I placed this order, I thought of like five more things. I'm like, dang it. So I'll probably be placing another order very soon and I'll probably share that as well. But. That's it for this one. So if you're interested in checking out Thrive Market, they have two different membership models that you can sign up for. They have the monthly one where you pay $9.95 a month, and then they also have the yearly one, and it's $59.95, but it breaks down to $5 a month. That's what we've done the past few years, and we pay for our own membership. Yes, I'm sponsored here, but we pay for it on our own. We love it. And you know, $5 a month with the amount, again, I'll show you what I saved in this order alone. You make your money back and then some with every order each month. So it's absolutely worth it to me. And if you're someone that eats a specific diet or if you have someone in your family that does, gluten-free, keto, paleo, non-GMO, organic, they have so many different ways to filter through the site and find exactly what you need. And on top of that, you're saving money and you have way more options. They have so many options on there versus what you're gonna see even in a more organic -y store. <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> without like dropping names of stores, I think you know what I mean. So anyway, I love it. So if you want to check it out for yourself, you can go to the link in my description box, which is thrivemarket.com slash Jessica Braun, and you will get $110 worth of free groceries. That is an amazing offer, so it's definitely a good time to check it out if you were thinking about it. Thank you again, Thrive Market, for sponsoring this portion of the video. I already know, out of all the snacks I tried, these are my favorite. So these, maybe I'll make like a sandwich or something so I'm not just eating this for lunch, but these, if you end up placing an order, please buy these and you can thank me later. <laughs>
so scary, you know, but uh, it's also just really cute. But yeah, I am just super jazzed, super jazzed. Also, I was filming the Instagram reel slash TikTok on my favorite blushes and it made me realize that I really need to go through these soon and like reorganize them slash declutter them. I don't think this is gonna be the next declutter I do, but it should be soon. I think I'm gonna do um, lip glosses next because they desperately need to be done. But this, I mean, this is a lot of blush. <laughs> I just love blush though. It's definitely one of my favorite categories for sure. You wanna go for a walk? So yeah, all right. Okay, did not know it was gonna be sunny out. This is amazing. It's still like 40 degrees, but it feels so good in the sun. Also, we're just doing a quick short one since he still is having some hip issues, but he needed to get out of the house. I guess the good news here is we're going at a snail's pace because he is smelling every single smell that has ever existed. So <laughs> there's that. So I uh, just got an Amazon order in and I figured I'd share it just cause why not? First of all, <laughs> these are my favorite sponges. It's $10 for a pack of six on Amazon. I feel like it's a little bit cheaper on the Shop Miss A site, but they're $1.50 each, but I feel like when you buy the bundle on the Shop Miss A site itself, it's a little bit cheaper, but not by enough that like the free shipping from Amazon is just so much easier and it's quick. So if you've always wanted to try them, <laughs> they're like $10 for a pack of six, I bought two. Cause to be honest, I should replace these more often than I do. And I thought, you know what? If I have plenty, I'll actually throw them out when I should. Then I got two of these, finally. So many of you guys have told me to try these. They're definitely a product that I feel like is kind of hit or miss. And I really wasn't sure out of all the ones they offer, which ones to get for my skin tone. So I got two of them, the butter cake and the butter coffee. And we shall see. I'll be trying these out in a video very, very soon. So... Stay tuned for that. And then I also got this Wet n Wild Always Naked palette. I saw Taylor Wynn, actually these are two products Taylor Wynn made me buy. She mentioned this in a recent Raves and Rejects video and I was like, uh, I need that. And I could not find it anywhere online except for Amazon. So, and I've looked in store, I couldn't find it, but it looks like this shadow kind of broke a little bit. So it's like shh, all over. <laughs> That's fixable. That's not that big of a deal. And honestly, I always get nervous ordering makeup from Amazon. I'm like, it's going to come and it's going to be all messed up. But you know what? I've had better luck with Amazon makeup purchases than I have with like Ulta. Every order I get from Ulta, something is shattered. And then these hair ties were another Taylor Wynn made me buy it purchase. This is actually the kind of hair tie I like. It's like rolled up pantyhose. I don't know how to explain it other than that. And they're just super strong and super stretchy. I have bought multiple brands of this kind of product, but this was definitely the best deal of the different brands I've bought. You know what I mean? Cause you get 20 of them. So I have a bunch that are stretched out and I've tried the hack where you put them in the washer and dryer and let them like shrink back. And it worked a little bit, but not, they're not back to their former glory. So <laughs> anyway, I'm excited to have some more. I think it's time to throw out some of my old hair ties. Cause these are exactly the kind I like. With hair ties, I'm picky because I need it to hold up. My hair can be very limp <laughs> because I do technically have fine hair. And so I really like to have a ponytail that'll actually like stay in place and hold the pony up. And that's why I fell in love with these a couple of years ago, not this brand, but this kind. So I'm excited to have some fresh, non-stretched out ones. Also the pregnancy swelling is real. It's nothing extreme, like nothing my doctor's worried about. Just the normal amount of swelling at the end of pregnancy. So I had to take my wedding ring off <laughs> last night. I was so sad. <laughs> I'll be able to wear it again soon. I might like put it on a necklace and wear it. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Is this a weird angle? <laughs> yes. <laughs> but honestly, whatever. So I've got like 10 minutes before I need to go get Genevieve at preschool. And I was thinking about, you know, it's just so crazy that we're due to have this baby in a few weeks and how long it took me to get, I'm not going to get emotional, <laughs> just how long it takes to get back to your normal self after you have a baby. And I don't mean physically at all. I mean, in every other way. Like, it's just so crazy what it does to you. And no oh boy. <laughs> well, you should have expected that I'd be crying at least at some point in this video. But it's so wild because, you know, everything changes when you have a kid. And you probably, if you're someone that doesn't have a kid, and I know a lot of you guys watch and don't have kids, don't plan to, etc. But it is just so wild how much your life changes. And for the good and for the worse. I mean, it sounds awful to say, but just in that, in the way that 
the freedom you had is gone. You know, it's just different. Everything's just different. My point of sharing this is, you know, I do think going into this second baby that we have such a different perspective. And I've said that a lot, but we really do where we just feel like, I don't know, we know what to expect. So even though we know it, there's parts of this we won't know until we're there, like what is it like to have two kids versus one? Obviously that's gonna have its own set of challenges, but we do know what it's like to have a kid and what that means in regards to the freedom of our days and the freedom of like, you know, at the drop of a hat going somewhere, you know, well now it takes a lot of logistics and planning and <laughs> prepping and you know, but I just look at Genevieve and I'm like, oh my gosh, I love her so freaking much. <laughs> Oh, so freaking much. And so it's just crazy to think that I could possibly love another baby, another kid as much as her. And I know, I know I will, but I don't know how I could have that much love in my heart. Like it's, it's too much love. <laughs> anyway, I'm just so emotional, you guys. Who allowed me to vlog <laughs> this late in my pregnancy? <laughs> anyway, oh boy, I gotta hold it together because I really do have to go pick her up now in like six minutes and I can't look like I've been crying. <laughs> it's happy tears but I'm just trying to soak in you know these last few weeks of just the time with Genevieve and just you know the time with us as a family of three because things are going to get real crazy <laughs> real fast <laughs> anyway but uh yeah that's all just wanted to chat about that you should see how precariously this camera is <laughs> I've got it on the ponytail the bag of ponytail holders <laughs> I just showed you it's like propped on it anyway that is all i need to go get that sweet girl and we got to figure out what we're doing for dinner tonight we have a bunch of leftovers of some meals we've made so we might just do that it's so nice i'm like i feel like we should it's not nice nice i should say it's nice when the sun is out but honestly by the time we're all here and together it might be too cold to like play outside but we shall see all right so Miss genevieve is here we're gonna play some stuff together um and then it'll be dinner time in a little bit but i was also switching Laundry around and <laughs> I, I, I got that for this way. Okay. Anyway, she's so freaking cute at this age, you guys. I cannot handle it. So um I was switching laundry around and I had one more load of things for the baby. And I think it's the very last load of like baby items, washcloths, you know, those kinds of things that we hadn't washed yet. So I just put it in the washer. I'm like, I think that's it. I think that's the last load of things that needed to be kind of pre-washed and we just use like a free and clear detergent because we've learned that Dreft, and I don't remember if we use Dreft with her at all, but um, it's not good for a lot of babies like sensitive skin. Uh, I can't finish washing. Hmm. Well, honey, we can throw it in a bigger one. Big? Yeah. What about the one in mommy and daddy's bathroom? But it's not big enough. You know, we could save this. This is her uh, sky balloon from Christmas. It finally came down. Do you want me to, we can save it in your keepsake box. Mommy. What? We can play, play off with the pink thing. Okay, we can do that. Yes, we can. I don't even know what you're Two balloons. Oh, I see what you're saying. Well, we'll see if it will blow up. Anyway, long story short, we're just getting closer at the baby stuff and it's, it's just exciting and crazy and scary and exciting and crazy and scary. That's all. <laughs> this is the current state of the baby's room. <laughs> the problem has been, it was actually like looking pretty good for a hot minute there, but then we ordered the last things we wanted to get, you know, things that I didn't think about, like a baby memory book, this little magic uh, sleep suit, you know, anyway. Then washing things, getting things out from storage that we hadn't gotten yet. Diapers, you know how it goes. Anyway, and then we also have a three-year-old that keeps coming in here and playing with all, well, what were her old toys, so I don't really blame her. But all of this was organized, now it's crazy again. So I'm gonna tackle a little bit tonight, maybe a little bit more tomorrow, we shall see, because we have got to get this in gear. And Tyler is currently putting the car seat in. Remind me to tell you guys in a future video, because I don't know that I have, well, I guess I could tell you right now. We have bought the Duna car seat, and that was going to be the car seat we use, and it's so cool because it pops out, like I've talked about it in videos, like a little wheels pop out, so it's like a mini stroller instead of having to like lug the carrier around. Well, we've decided we are going to return that slash, I think it might be too late, I think we might have to sell it, which is fine, because as we looked at the stroller we have, and I knew this, I like kind of ignored the problem until we were like, no, we actually need to like solve this problem. The Duna car seat does not attach to any stroller. 
And the problem is we know we're going to travel with the baby. And so knowing that, it was kind of one of those things that we were like, if we get a regular car seat that has attachments for the different strollers, then we could because traveling with the bassinet is not feasible because you can't fold up the stroller with the bassinet. Anyway, round and around we went. And finally, Tyler, like a few weeks ago goes, Jessica, why don't we just get a different car seat and resell? Because the Duna is literally brand new, untouched. Resell it for about what we paid or, you know, return it, whatever. And I'm like, I think you're right. <laughs> and it, it really does, even though the Duna would have been nice to be able to pop the wheels out. And I know we would have used it just the way that we're going to be using the, the strollers and all of that. This makes so much more sense. So we went with the, oh no, I already, I knew I'd forget it. Oh, it's the Nuna Pippa Light. And there's like a few different models. We went with one of the models. I don't know the exact one. So I'm happy about that. But so now he's installing those in the car now because I'm like, Tyler, like we really, we have to have that in. Like you cannot leave the hospital without it. So he's doing that right now while I hang out with her and maybe tackle some of this. Anyway, this is like the longest vlog ever, you guys. Oh my gosh. All right, good morning. It is now Wednesday. We made some headway in this room last night. So we've got some hospital bags. We've got the floor. You can actually see Genevieve was just playing with these. <laughs> blocks. <laughs> anyway, this is what I told Tyler is his project shelf because <laughs> we need to hang these floating shelves up here. And then these are like some little tie back things for the curtains. And then figuring out these, really either of us can do this, but figuring out the monitor system we're going to be using. So that'll be good. Then I really just need to go through this stuff and that's it. This is our old diaper bag. I might sell because I bought it for Genevieve. It's just so heavy. It is literally the heaviest diaper bag. <laughs> On, <laughs> on its own. We're like actually making progress and it's nearly done. So that is a very good feeling. And Gigi's got this balloon now that she just absolutely loves. All right, it's time to finish up our little list even though it's the next day. So I did answer the emails I needed to answer. I got most of the baby room done as you saw. We did go on a walk and actually we went on one today already. And then I got these screenshots I needed to get done. So the only thing unfinished if you will is the declutter which I'm gonna film today. So that's a pretty good feeling. Awesome. So a couple of updates. Broke a nail. Got some Starbucks. And this was the, let me see what it's actually called. So glad it was almost up to you guys. This is the, um, oh boy. <laughs> oh, okay. Ice brown sugar, oat, oat milk, something. <laughs> anyway, it was just like a iced coffee, but it's the oat milk one, but it's the brown sugar one. So Earlier I got, not today, but another day I got, it's like the vanilla, it's like toasted vanilla. I did not like that one. The brown sugar is way better. So wanted to mention it, not super sweet, but tasty. It's got like cinnamon on it as well. I'm like nursing this last weird watered down sip. You know how you do. Anyway, but I figure I'll end this vlog here because I'm pretty sure this is one of my longer vlogs. And this isn't even like a, you know, three or four or five day vlog. This is just basically like one and a half days, but. I was just chatty, okay? But I've got more vlogs coming if you're into this. Um, at least one more, maybe two before the baby comes. We'll kind of see. I mean, it's a big old question mark on when this baby comes. But I definitely have at least one more planned and we'll see if more come after that. I'm just gonna be pre-filming as much as I can and you know, our life will change when our life changes. <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching all the way to the end. Again, if you wanna check out Thrive Market, I will have the link down below. It's thrivemarket.com slash Jessica Braun. And again, that gets you $110 worth of free groceries, which is amazing. So definitely a good time to check it out. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.